as the sun is setting. So, what became a little chaotic and almost a disaster has ended on a fantastic note. So today is September 26th. I don't know why I had to think it's my dad's birthday. Hey, welcome to Smoky Mountain Lash Bees, where lashes led to bees. This very well might be the last time I go into, like into, into my hives for 2022. Um, so what are we gonna do today? We are going to check queen status on these two, Nikki, Rosalai, to see which one of those two swarmed the other day. We're going to check queen status and food status on Daisy and Lily. And if we do have one of these two as queenless, we will be combining it with Daisy. So let's get rolling. All right, it is very windy out here, so hopefully it won't knock my camera over, but it may. We're gonna go into Nikki and Rosalie and check queen status here. My smoker died. All right, take two. Smoker's now going. Hopefully it'll stay going. All right, both of these have feeders on them, so I gotta set those down too. That's why they have three boxes right now. We had storms last night, and since I was down a hive, I put a box on. Empty inhale. I gotta make more sugar feed. over to the left side here so we'll go over this way and see if there's brood it's windy it's in the season days cranky eyes cranky so I'm on a heavy slope Let's see what we got here Bee bread. Bee bread. We got a nice frame of cat fruit here. which means we are queen right because it's been uh, seven days since seven days since I was in here I was in here last Tuesday and this is Monday if there were no queen there'd be no eggs but we're gonna go one more make certain I did see eggs it's not just my eyes playing tricks on me Oh, there's the queen right there. So we are queen, right? Black, pretty black queen. Let's see if I can get a picture. So 
we are queen right. That is good. We shall close up now. I lost her again. I like to see where they're at when I'm lowering it down. Oh, she's right there. not bother them anymore. I think they're not here. They have really ran the mites into it, or the hive beetles into it. It's good. Clear them suckers out. Yeah. What have we got here? Let's get where I can see in the light. Bee bread. Lots and lots of bee bread. More bee bread. Bee bread and bee bread. on that side that I haven't seen yet. The queen cells. So it's kept brood. But I'm looking for eggs. Or the queen. So many bees, sometimes it's hard to see if there's queen cells because they're all over it. Yes, I know it's time. I know it's time to take my collagen. Huh? Oh. Just looking for the queen real quick. Don't see her. Cup with nothing. Oh, there's the queen. So both of them are queen, right? So I don't know. Maybe it was one of those two hives over there that swarmed. We shall see when we go in. Camera or not. Let's see here. Of 
where she's going under French bees. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good bees. Pretty bees. All right. Let's close her up. So these two are, other than feed, are set for the winter. You've got to keep feeding them. This is Lily. Last time I was in Lily was when I did the mite treatment and they were feisty. So heavy smoke. I'm going to be putting, I'm checking, taking mite treatment off, checking queen status and I'm putting a different lid on so that I can feed them because I'm sure they need it. Let's see here. I mean they got some weight but I want to, I want to pee. Don't roll the lace cart. So, let's pop top. Well, we're going to take the whole box off first. And then, then we'll check. Pop that off. So the mite treatment is stuck to the bottom. It's okay. I get it off. Um, they are going to be feisty again. I'm going to check queen status here. Get eggs. Cool to see the queen. I don't think I see anything more. There's not much eggs. And yes, they slow down this time of year, but we had one swarm, so. Love to see the queen to know she's in here. Oh god, I hope the queen is not on that. I just made a very easy hive. Mm -hmm. What a mess. I don't need. Don't fly. If the queen's on there, she can get up on it. But I'm also going to thoroughly go through this hive. Let's see if I can slap the queen in here. Oh, because I'm 
I'm a dunder. I have dropped the frame this year. For the second time. And of course, I have to do it on one of my more aggressive eyes. Now I need to for the clean. There's a bulge I was afraid that it was a clean cell. There's a lot of white, uh, mm -hmm. you know, milkweed or milkweed thorns in the soil and jelly. There's the queen. Okay, we're good. Queen's right there. I just like to keep my eye on her as I'm lowering the frame down in. I don't know where she's at. Alright, so she's good. Now let's put this mess. break and let these gals calm down all right they're not gonna calm down for a while and I need to get into Daisy here 
so I'm just gonna see if I can get my tripod to stay up. Wait, shift this out. I'm gonna try to be in and quick. I went ahead and put a entrance reducer on her to help keep the bees that aren't supposed to be going in. And I'll let the I'll let this hive, which is Lily, calm down before I put her entrance reducer on. So let's get going into this one real quick. So let's first check weight. Pretty dang light. Pulling the don't see any high fetal larva. That's good. Excluder. I am going to check the lid for queen. Do you want to see? There we go. Hi, beetles. Nectar, bee bread, hive beetles. I'm gonna have to fix the hive beetle trap for them. Nectar. <laughs> That's a food plant there. So I'm just gonna <laughs> sit them here. I'm making certain this isn't the hive that's formed, so. eggs in it. So there's been a queen. Mm -hmm. Nectar. So there were eggs and no queen cells. So I'm going to assume they're queen right, pray they're queen right, and get this all closed up. Before they kill the queen in this weird frenzy. <laughs> I can knock these off this box over here. And let these bees calm down. So we'll get all this done. Okay, so it's a lot cooler than what I wanted. I was letting the other hive calm down. Since everybody was queen, 
queen right, I wanted to get into this one and check it because it's the last one. This is the only other one that I didn't go into. Only other one I didn't go into, uh, or the, the only other one I went into prior to um, that swarm Tuesday. So I'm gonna try to go in this really quick. It's a little cooler than what I want. All right, smoker, please. I just had you going. And of course, my smoker is not wanting to stay lit. cells and some nectar. Inside's bee bread. Here's the thing that I don't want to do and that's cause my hand by dropping or knocking off another frame. Ooh. It would be a whole lot better if I do it this way. Cat, young larva. I don't see any eggs. Looking over for the queen real quick. Can't keep it out too terribly long because it's cold. Larva. Back going nectar. It's dark. I can't tell if that's larva or eggs down in there. I love just to see the queen walking along here. See some young, young baby, uh, newly hatched adults. They're all still super fuzzy. All right, I need to get this back in the warm. Got a nice layer of honey on top. It's a nice, hefty frame. Again, good cat's brood. I gotta turn this way so I can get light. It's a young larva. I see eggs. I do see eggs this time. But the thing is, is well, if there were eggs, then there shouldn't be, there should be a queen. There should be, this should be queen right? Because that was Tuesday. There wouldn't be any eggs left if they swarmed. Again, I gotta use the light. Pretty sure that's eggs. I just see it would be easier if you just pop yourself out and I could see you. Because it's too dark to see too well. There she is. Booyah. Okay. Queen right. I don't know if I can get a picture. Don't need to drop a frame, especially with a queen on it. Did you just attack my cell phone, B? Okay, where'd she go? Let's 
flower around here. There she is. Mm -hmm. All right, Caroline. Thank you for showing yourself. Closing up. Don't knock stuff down, Krista. Don't knock stuff down, Krista. All right, so let's get over here for a second. So we're gonna do something. I don't know if this is going to stand for me to do it or not. Probably not. They don't have my things down. Here's one. There's the dead bee here. She be. And. she's gonna do um it is September 26 and I have officially finished going into the hives other than to crack them open and add feed to them I finished going into the hives for the 2022 season today so recap craziness if you didn't watch already last Tuesday I went into honey flower Liz which is no longer there Rosalie and Car uh sorry scratch that Honeyflower Caroline Liz who is no longer there Rosalie and Nikki I went into those hives and um Honeyflower and the Liz that is no longer there had no brood still I did find the queen this is a weird, I don't know, this, this hive is just being let, let do its thing. Um, in fact, there's a wax moth on the front of it. Die. Um, so, there was a queen laying eggs, not raising any brood. I, I don't know, I have tried looking online, trying to figure it out, I've done mite treatment. I don't know what's going on, so that hive is just gonna ride out and do whatever it's gonna do. But, the Liz Hive, which was right here, which was a nuke like this, was again, or also, broodless. So, I moved her over, combined them, boost this hive's numbers, maybe those bees will start raising that one's young. I don't know. Just combining equipment, essentially, trying to keep it from getting ruined by pests like hive beetles and wax moth. We shall see. Um... In moving Liz over, I discovered a frame with about a cluster of about nine or so queen cells in the second box that were chewed out, which was evidence that they hatched out. They just, they, they swarmed or something. So, I was like, whatever, there's no queen, still combining. I went through with queen right, went through with queen right, even saw uh, Nikki on the end there. Then a few hours later, mayhem. I don't know why I keep having mayhem. Mayhem hit. I come out here and you can watch other, uh, some of my other videos. I did uh, get some recorded. Buttercup had a whole bunch of bees signaling on the side. Obviously not um, robbing going on. There was a whole bunch of bees flying around underneath. Rosalie here. Ended up finding a clump underneath Rosalie, and I stuck my fingers in there, had my gloves on, stuck my fingers in there, kind of wiggle, and out, boop, a queen. I happened to keep queen clips in my pocket for, for such e occasions, and so I was able to capture her. 
was able to get all the bees up from here up onto a frame with her into a nuke box. I was like, yay, I caught the swarm. Put it over here with a, um, in a pro nuke, a plastic uh, five frame box. Left them with some food and everything. She didn't stay or they got robbed out. It didn't look like there was a lot of wax like the way they go, they go into a freezing, feeding frenzy and tear the wax up, opening it up to get to the honey stores. Didn't look like that, but there was some in there eating on the, the honey, but there was no queen still. I chalked it up as oh well. So, um, then I think it was Thursday, I went into Cloud, Comb, Buttercup, and Honey, queen right, perfect. They're doing fantastic. Again, they just need some more food given to them. Um, I was like, from what I could tell on the cameras, it looked like maybe one of these two swarmed. Um, I could not go into Lily or Daisy yet because they had their mite treatments on. Well, as you've seen, wrapping up. Queen right, queen right, queen right. Pretty sure it's Queen Wright saw eggs. There wouldn't be eggs in there if she wasn't Queen Wright. But it was crazy because of, of course, me being a klutz and knocking over or dropping whatever that frame. And we just saw Queen Wright. So now, here is my theory. My theory is um, two things now since Caroline is Queen Wright. My theory is A, that was a Queen returning from mating flight from the Liz Hive. Well, I had already combined the Liz Hive with the Flower Hive. So she got lost, maybe? Got confused, her hive was no longer there, and smelling and whatnot, and ended up underneath Rosaline. That is one possibility. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know where she is. She's gone. Another possibility is it was a fall swarm from somewhere else. So they smelt the apiary and come in to try to find a home. So that is my two theories. Queen returning from where that's nine queen cells, one actually was coming back. Um, I'm sad I lost her, but it is what it is. She probably wasn't made it very well seeing that it was fall. And I haven't seen drones in any of these hives in a while. So, I doubt there's many drones around right now. So, um, that's one, or it could have been a swarm from somewhere else. Regardless, I am happy to say, as of right now, September 26th, 2022, there is a queen in this one. I do not, oh my gosh, I must have not killed that wax moth. It's back up on the box. Well, now it's dead. Either that or another one came back. There is a queen. There is a queen in this hive red top i do not i do not hold hope for that hive this hive i'm considering a goner regardless so we have our mega hive that is always my overachiever she's good so there's one so first place biggest hive best hive second place is buttercup third is honey uh, cloud fifth is honeycomb um in all honesty this one, Nikki, Rosalie, Caroline, and Lily and back. They're all queen right, about mediocre in range. They're five frame, ten frames essentially, uh, needing food. We'll see. Same with this one. It's just it's in a ten frame box. So we've got these, what, two, three, four, these five that are tied for a uh, mediocre place, whatever. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine queens, nine queen right, good hives, and one I don't know what the hay is going on hive. So I am very thrilled because as of last year, this is all I had. This is what I went into winter with. A double deep, a triple deep roll. Right now this is double with a, a food super, honey super that they filled back up. So the other box is for the feeder. So that will be coming off eventually. So this is what I went into the winter of 2021 with. 
this is what I'm going into the winter of 2022 with. I would say that is a fantastic success story for myself in learning and growing. I have had ups and downs. I've had crazy psycho things. I've had what the hay is going on, honey flower. Um, I had a queen who would not stay below the queen excluder. Honey's hive, she's still one of the best honey producing hives this year too. Um, I have done the math and what has been bottled honey wise was 260 pounds of honey for my first full year of honey production. Um, I still have my personal bucket, five gallon bucket. And, um, Based on my numbers from bottling, I'm saying it's about a 45 to 50 pound bucket. So we're looking at probably having had 300 pounds of honey for my first full honey season. I am thrilled with it. I am excited to see what's to come. Now it's down to the tedious. Um, I've got to do the shims. i got to make the shims, the feed shims to do the dry sugar on. I've got to keep trying to get sugar and creating sugar syrup until the, the temperature is no longer in the 50s or above during the daytime. I'm going to try to keep feeding them until then. And um, then it's then it's be sad and watch them from a distance because I don't do the cold so I won't be hanging out in the yard. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm excited. I am grateful. I have learned a lot. I am excited to see what next year holds. I will be trying something that I've never done, and that is selling nukes, actually selling bees to other beekeepers to populate their um, apiaries, to start their hives, just like I started off with, it was in that position, the where Honeyflower is. I started off with five frames of bees. I bought five a five frame nuke. That is the only bees I have bought. I bought a five frame, of uh, nuke started my first hive made two two became this <laughs> so thank you for watching keep watching um and i can't wait to see what's to come i will try to get videos up and um doing little things other bee things the tedious task um for you to see as well god bless until next time